like, I don't know, four, five, six boards that are yeah. all kind of unique okay. for different okay. conditions. That's what I was trying to achieve with that guy. Yeah. Just go through like phases, like get addicted to certain types of crafts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is the coolest dog ever. We should talk about this guy. I can't believe that's in one piece, that board. I ride a hip in like a 5.4. I feel like the first one you ever made me was a 5.4 and it, it worked, so I didn't venture away from it. I feel like everyone loves likes that model a lot. With the hip dough, you don't really have to think about your surfing that much. The way you stand up and the way you place your feet, it just... Fuck. Why the fuck didn't I silence that? Yeah, just the way you place your feet on that board, it's it just all works. It's kind of like my go-to board when I want to have a bunch of paddle speed and fly down the line and do turns. I guess that kind of suits my surfing in a way. And that's why I rode it a lot, like over the last couple of years and, and for the movie. It's a good board for trimming for your average surfer that wants to have fun. And you can go fast and turn it really good and it's got a little bit of release too. That board, that like that one has been in my quiver for, I don't even know how it's still alive. I've retired it now. I guess I'll always ride that board when it's barreling. Even when I look at it, I, I think it's like, it's perfect for that. I've always taken it with me and we surfed that wave in, in West Africa and there was no other board I'd have under my feet than that one. Those boards can like make pretty serious drops if you commit to them. But this sort of wave just let me in and yeah, the board just kind of did everything for me. But the best one documented, like, I've never claimed a wave in my life and I like looked up at this guy and was like kind of tripping out that I'd like made the barrel. I guess people like it just because it's it's easy. You can paddle and you can get a ton of waves and it rides really fast and it's like exciting. I guess that's what people look for in surfing, or I do at least. I got like addicted to the germ for a bit. It's, um, they're pretty hard to get off. I know the germ works really well. It feels really good on my feet. I just I kind of trip out on the weird aesthetics of it. Why do you think the germ works? Just feels just because it's so like weird looking. Maybe I guess everything about that board is super funky. The side cards how it like warps out a little bit. Like just that weird kind of like beaky nose. It feels like you're almost cheating. Like every feature complements each other in a way. Yeah, that board like it. It works in every condition. But it's like, Dane rode that board and he was psyched on the way it, it worked. And like everyone that's ridden that board really likes it. Mainly just kind of beach breaks and points it works too. Like just for like an all round fun kind of board, like works for airs and it turns really well. And I guess just cause it's super light and it's epoxy and it's got, oh, it's got like the future flex technology. It just feels a lot more alive. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the ander because that I don't like saying that. Yeah, I normally ride like my shortboard in a five nine, flick between like a, a pin and kind of more of a, like a rounded sort of tail. I found that a uh, round tail sort of worked really well for me, just in like standard kind of waves, so just normal, you know, three to six foot waves. I guess it's just like a all round shortboard. Of the movie when I went to India, I surfed a lot like backside, um, just backside on this like right hand point kind of wave. And it's just got like a, a really clean outline and just flows really good. And just putting it on rail and then like trying to you know release off the lip, it all kind of works. Just like watching 80s and 90s like surf videos, you'd like see the guys do proper turns. I just feel like 5'9, like my standard shortboard with a round tail. Like that's how I want to see myself surf. The first one you ever made was a swallowtail. I had one over in Hawaii and I surfed it at Rocky Lefts and I was like, dude, I'm not giving this back to you. Said it was the best board he's ever ridden. Super light on your feet and fast. Kind of explosive. Explosive, that's a fucking dumb word. The turns on a dime, you can race down the line and sort of do what you want. I really like the outline of that board and how it looks under my feet when I surf. Yeah, it's kind of just for the waves, like California style sort of waves and just summer at home. But then it works in like kind of proper waves too. But it's fun just having a board then a little bit shorter under your feet, kind of feels like a skateboard. You get a little bit more tech and 
kind of tricky with it. I feel like you gotta be a bit more front footed and then as soon as you hit the lip, it's like a lot easier to kind of tweak out. Just that volume kind of under your front foot and then there's like a ton of release when you hit the lip. With that side cut, do you reckon when you carve in little pockets? Or yeah, same, like fully. It kind of holds in and sort of turns pretty good too when you, I don't know, fucking want to do a turn. <laughs> <laughs> My front door working for me all day long. I saw it all up clear, as bright as a thousand suns. I'd surfed desert so many times on that board and had like a ton of fun. I, I wanted to try something else and I rode um, a single fin, the 510 cannon. I don't know, like, I don't, I don't surf big waves or anything, but I just felt like if I ever was going to, I'd like something that, something with a lot of volume so I can get in early and not be freaking out and like trying to make a drop. What length is a 6'6 cannon? Yeah, 6'6 six, six cannon. I rode it out chokes a little bit the first session I had out there. Just because I wasn't comfortable surfing that way on a single fin, but then I ended up switching it out and I was pretty psyched to ride chopes on that big red single fin. Yeah. I guess because it's so chunky, you know, once you get to your feet and you set your line, you use more of your rail than your actual like fin to get like down the wave and then once you've set your line and you're like kind of in the right spot of the wave you can um, like either sort of get up the front of it if you want to kind of speed up or sit back and kind of slow down and appreciate the barrel. Diamond tail or brown and pin tail I reckon? Diamond tail for sure. I don't know the difference but it that works better for me I think. I really enjoy surfing sort of bigger boards that it's more of uh, putting yourself in the right part like of the ocean or just you know just knowing exactly where to sit just reading the wave you work more on vision than like your actual skill and I don't think my skills are that good I'd always take like maybe two shortboards a pintail and a rounded pin a merlo a germ and then either like a bigger single fin or just a 510 single fin depending on what I think the way how big the waves we get and yeah I can't forget like a hipto yeah, I'd like kind of go to like locations and be like, I know this is the board I need to ride out there. And it would always, I don't think once, like I second guess myself. And um, yeah, they all like played their role, I guess.